Alright, hi there. Welcome to the cave. Uh, today we're going to cover two more awesome new products uh, from Cold Steel. My name is Richard Lee. Uh, today we're going to cover uh, the long awaited long handle uh, Wakazashis. Um, so the Warrior Series Wakazashis um, and the Katanas, uh, the Yotanos too, um, I think are underrated. Uh, let me tell you a little story about um, uh, the design. One of the designers of Cold Steel Knives, uh, he created Triadlock, uh, Andrew Demko. Uh, fantastic uh, knife maker. Um, what's kind of underrated about him is really his, um, his martial ability. Uh, he's a fantastic martial artist. Um, he's got some kind of eighth billionth dan in Aikido. His family comes from a long line of martial artists. They own a martial arts school. Uh, very well known in the martial arts community for um, his arts. Uh, one of the things that he's really good at, um, obviously you've seen the videos, he's awesome with cutting. Uh, he's really good with the katana, he's really good with all sorts. Uh, but one of the things that I asked, um, because he's not only a martial artist, but he's a knife maker, so lots of rich history. I asked Andrew Demko, Andrew, what is, if the zombie apocalypse happens right now, what sword are you going to take? So in my mind, I'm thinking Andrew's got some master 3V super cool sword. And he said, you know what, honestly, I'd probably take the warrior katana. And I was a little shocked. Um, and he said, um, it's not uh, differentially he traded like um, kind of the traditional Japanese um, uh, katanas where you see the hamon, it's very, very pretty uh, and they're extremely durable. Uh, but one of the things he said about the Cold Steel um, Warrior series, and it's actually for the Warrior, the, the Dragonfly and the, and the Emperor series, uh, the katana is got a spring temper on it and he says it's really super durable. So for a zombie apocalypse where you're, you may encounter many, many different types of things and you want durability and and uh, flexibility and obviously you want cutting performance, uh, the warrior, warrior katana can't be beat. So he said you can make it out of a lot of other materials, uh, but again, the warrior series, the katana is easier to sharpen um, when it's 1055 uh, versus 3V, which um, I, I totally understand that. So I was a little shocked, but he said the warrior series, uh, and of course, uh, it's that's his preference. Uh, he says the dragonfly. My I, my preference is the dragonfly. I think the dragonflies are awesome. Um, but you take any one of those, and I think you do yourself pretty good. But one of the things with the katanas themselves is they're they're long. They're 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 big. So uh, I prefer smaller swords. And I think because of the Filipino martial arts background, uh, I really like this style. Uh, this is the warrior wakazashi. And if you actually look at that, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Ooh. I really like the Espada Idaga kind of principles behind uh, Filipino martial arts. So putting this in your right hand where it's, n it's not a katana length, uh, but it's this nice kind of middle balanced uh, length, I think it's awesome. You put a, a dagger in your left hand, you know, stick anything in your left hand, and it's a pretty good set. And I know some of the... Uh, <laughs> The, the Japanese historical guys will say, hey, that's not the way you use it, but hey, it's my, it's my life, I can do what I want. I'm gonna do it my way. So I really like my Espada Daga set. Um, people have always asked, hey, what would you take? Honestly, I would take uh, the Warrior Wakazashi or the Dragonfly, I prefer the Dragonfly, and an Otanto or just another Tanto in the left hand. I think that Espada Daga set is, is awesome. But there is one kind of weakness. Uh, you can put two hands on this. You can put two hands on this. There's not a lot of room. And one of the other things that Andrew said is um, if, if you want to finish the fight, really need to finish the fight, uh, this is really good for one-handed, but there's no doubt putting two hands on a weapon uh, gives you a cutting performance jump that's that it's, it's massive. So he started with the Kukri and that's his kind of thing is um, he creates an awesome Kukri uh, I'll have to show you that later. Um, but one of the things he says he might want to change that to a Tonto or something like maybe an Awakazashi so he can get two hands on it. Andrew's got large hands, so I don't know how, have to be pretty big. Uh, these are about eight and a half inches long, so just enough to get two hands on it, but not a lot of space um, to put a little spacer in between to get a really firm kind of grip on it. So Cold Steel came out with something pretty awesome. Lynn's been with on this before. He really likes the Wakazashi length, but he didn't like the handle. And so he really created the long handle. Uh, some people call it a Kokotana. It just means 
a shorter katana, but the handle of the katana is really uh, the, the main emphasis here. So this has got the same length as the handle on the Warrior series, uh, but the blade's on a wakizashi. So the, well, the wakizashi is 21 inches, right? But the handle is 11 and a quarter. So look at look at the difference. So that's the Warrior series. That's about. Let me fix this out here. And you can see the difference in, in size right there. So it doesn't seem like a huge, um, going from eight and a half to 11 and a quarter wouldn't be that massive, but I guess a couple inches does make a difference. So you can see that it gives you a lot more just grip. And if you need to make a heavier cut, this is it. But it's still light enough to use one handed. I like, I didn't like, um, I didn't think I was gonna like this as much but there's a counterbalance to this, uh, just because the handle's a little longer, there's a counterbalance uh, to it, just makes it feel super, super awesome. So I would still take, honestly, I would now take this as my, as Spotty Daga said, this would be my main um, sword. It's not so long that you can't use it in shorter quarters, uh, but if you need to fight heavier, beefier weapons, um, you can definitely do that with that. So that's the Warrior uh, Wakazashi, pretty awesome. Again, 21 inches, the handle's 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. So this is the Dragonfly. Uh, I, I, this is on, honestly just the, my favorite uh, all-time Wakazashi. I think it's the green, but slightly longer, believe it or not, than the Warrior series. So this is 22 inches, and the handle's ever so slightly larger. So it's a little bit larger than um, the Warrior series. Not by much. I think it's an inch that it's a, a different, but the Wakazashi, see, you can get two hands on it, but just perfect. I like this iris leaf uh, kind of look to it. I like, I just the Kasaki is really, really nice. And again, it's got, uh, it's got the same uh, spring temper that the Warrior series has, just has more advanced fittings on it that makes it look nicer, but the performance is the same. So I don't think you can go wrong with that. How do you make it better? Well, increase the handle length. So here's the new Dragonfly long handle Wakazashi. So again, we increase the length. Uh, it's a little bit longer than um, 11 inches. This is 11 and a quarter, and it's ever so slightly longer. So I believe it's an inch longer. And again, the blade length is 22 versus 21, so not, not a vast difference. Look at that. And then now look at how much space you can get on your hand. And again, the balance is fine. Uh, you think it, it would really offset the balance, but again, it, in, in fact, it doesn't. Uh, excellent balance of one hand, excellent transition to two hand. And so I think Andrew was right. I think if you're gonna use it one-handed, uh, there's a time when you're going to have to oppose bigger weapons and you're going to want two hands on it. And for that finishing cut, uh, there's nothing quite like putting two hands on a weapon. Uh, and I think that's probably why I don't like katanas and larger weapons as much is because the, there's a weight difference. And I really like having two weapons going at the same time. I think it's just from the Filipino martial arts side, uh, but I really like the Wakazashi link because I think it's uh, super, super useful. And again, I know it's kind of ninja um, Again, I don't know uh, everything about ninjutsu, but I kind of believe if, if what I read was right, that this may have been more akin to probably what ninjas carried. Uh, it's because uh, it's essentially just um, a longer handle. Uh, so you have that flexibility, but it was actually curved. And I think the straight version is more the American interpretation. I don't know. Somebody with some ninjutsu experience, um, see if you can chime up about that, but from what I've read and what I've uh, heard, uh, this is pretty pretty much more classical than what they would use. And if you're going to go on a stealth mission, I definitely agree, you probably ain't going to carry a katana. And a tanto or a tanto, 12 inches, 13 inches, too short. So this is somewhere in between. But again, having the longer handle, I think makes just a vast difference uh, so that you can still use this to oppose larger weapons, spears, uh, larger katanas. This can definitely fight against another katana, uh, throw some ninja stars and then follow up with this would be pretty awesome. So these are new from Cold Steel. Um, we have a video, maybe with some ninjas in it, maybe, maybe, coming very, very soon. But for right now, we're gonna go out and just uh, do a few test chops with this to see how they perform. See you in a bit.